Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Hello, my people. Breaking news. Buhari has appointed Ibrahim Gambari as new chief of staff. Finally, the long-awaited chief of staff don't show. My dear, now so we go come talk about the guy so you can meet the new chief of staff properly and as you need to know him, who he is and everything about him. Anyway, wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, please, I hope you are maintaining social distancing, washing your hands and adhering to government guidelines. Why? Because we want to keep ourselves safe at this time of coronavirus we need to keep ourselves not just ourselves but also our family safe because coronavirus not get brother i don't look face so anyway my people let's go in breaking news buhari has just appointed a new chief of staff professor ibrahim gambari as the new chief of staff to president muhammad buhari a former on a former Under Secretary General of the United Nations, Professor Ibrahim Gambari, has been appointed the new Chief of Staff to the President Muhammad Buhari. Gambari is from Kwara State and he was a Minister of the External Affairs between 1984 and 1985, a professor of repute and a global citizen. He is 79 years old and he has been is the one now. President Muhammad Buhari has just appointed to replace the person of Abakiari. We all know Abakiari was Buhari's uh, former chief of staff, a gentleman, but yet you don't hear this attitude and say green snake under the green grass. You know they shout. You know, they make noise, but you have to be careful. You don't hear the Twitter, they call sting letter. Uh -huh. Quiet, but very observant and watching. And in fact, the mouthpiece. Now, Buhari is surrounding himself with professors. Why did I say so? The vice president of the country, pres pres uh, vice president, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, not forget saying a professor. Now, Gamb Gambari also is a professor. So I think Buhari, he done they wise up or they don't they put people around them. When he go help him, help him make the right decision at every point in time. We hope he go allow them lead them because the truth is, we know that whenever Buhari is not in the country and the person of Yemi Osibanjo has had the opportunity when Buhari, I mean, dutifully and, um, you know, lawfully, uh, uh, up, you know, relief power to him. Like the other time he went outside the country, we saw the meaningful contribution of the person of Yemi Osibanjo as you know, as the as the acting president. And we saw for the first time that Nigerian uh, Naira rose, you know, in the in the foreign markets. These are some of the things we are talking about. Now, we the breaking news is here. Buhari has appointed Ibrahim Gambari as the new chief of staff. He was the former former affairs professor former affairs minister professor ibrahim gambari has been appointed the new chief of staff to replace the person of late abakiari who died last month of covid19 this is gathered that gambari has been buhari's foreign minister and he has been a confidant at military heads of state from the 1980s is someone who has been in the corridor of power this is not his first time he's i mean he's been there you know he has he has he has served in different capacity you know in nigeria uh in nigeria uh, uh relating to international market and uh, you know international body so we want to know if this guy is going i mean before now he was just a minister nothing more uh we want to know if this guy is going to you know replace Late um, Abakiari. Why did I say that? Abakiari was what man? We know they talk plenty, of, but actions speak louder than voice. We heard, you know, there was alleged rumor that 
He was the brain box behind Buhari's administration. He won't say much, but Buhari has to see, he has Buhari's ears. Buhari has to seek his advice to be able to make a decision or what have you in Nigeria. We want to know if this man, you know, he has served with the UN, he has served in different capacity to represent Nigeria, and now he's been appointed. He's a professor, like we earlier said, and uh, we'll get to know him better in the forthcoming days. There's not so much to say about this guy currently right now, other than he's a professor, and he has been one of the person, you know, who has been in the corridor of power, who's been representing Nigeria, and he's been widely and mostly exposed in the sense that this guy, I mean, he has had international influences. I want to believe that him coming as the new chief of staff might influence some of the decisions in Nigeria. We hope, say, you know, go come and come become like others as business as usual, as if they've not been exposed and as if they don't want, you know, betterment for the country. This is the guy that is replacing Abba Kiari. Abba Kiari, as you can see the pictures, was so close to President Muhammad Buhari, right behind him, even closer to him than the vice president of the country. In fact, now Abba Kiari and I Buhari, they send message to go do some kind, you know, uh, presidential uh, representation. Even what the vice president of the country should go for, it was Abba Kiari that Buhari was sent. So this new guy wants to know if he's going to be, you know, he's going to replace Abba Kiari, if you get what I mean. If he's going to fit into the same shoes or he's just going to be, you know, a, a person of his own or he's going to help in the leadership of Nigeria in the place of um advising President Muhammad Buhari. Don't forget that the place of the uh, uh, chief of staff to the president is to guide the president, make him see what you know he's not seeing. Bring those points that he may be missing out and say, Oga, oh you have missed out this point. This is what the people are saying. This is what Nigerians, this is where they are focusing on. This is what they are saying. This is what is going on. This is how we should lead things. You know, we can't see now whether people like Garuba Shew, we can't see they open their mouth, they become a, a how do they call them? They become now they might be presidency and then they give law and order. Anyway, with this new person, we'll get to see if uh, Buhari, if things are going to be different and if Nigeria is going to have a new stay in the right direction. All we want to see is Nigeria moving forward, making impressions around the nations of the world, positive one that will move us forward. We want to know if this guy is going to advise the president adequately to help him, you know, make informed decision that can move Nigeria forward. We look for forward to his forthcoming, his, his, you know, his coming days as he stepped into office and begin actively in the place of the uh, president's chief of staff what that does is that he's a voice for the president he sees what the president cannot see he helps him pick out you know his flaws and say oh god you the match line yo and a chief of staff cannot just be anybody it has to be somebody who is close to the to the president or to whoever they are staying by what that means is that you are able to tell him the truth not what he wants to hear so we'll see if this guy is going to you know uh be you know be you know that that voice that will that will tell that will tell Buhari the right thing. And whether we'll see whether I go can quench Femi additional voice because that one just the back. Wow, wow, now dog without control. Now they face the north. Imagine waiting that guy talk some time ago. When I think I'm here, they wonder whether this guy, whether I really whether I get whether I think at all. He said Nigerians people know they complain. During the time of uh, Jonathan, they were having 10 bombs per day. Now good luck, uh, Buhari time, they're having two. They should be grateful. When bomb blast, not now not be human being, now rock they go blast. Can you imagine? So no sympathy, no care for human life. And you just say it lavishly and just carelessly as if it does not matter, as if it's not the country that is being destroyed. So you see people with no sense of direction or leadership. That's what we are talking about. So we want to see and really, you know, ascertain if this guy is going to be different, if he's going to influence Buhari positively, if he's going to help the leadership of the country move forward, advance, you know, he's 75 years old, he's 79 year, years old, you know, I want to see how, I mean, let's, let's, let's give him that kudos that uh, he's an elder. I mean, he's been there. He's, uh, he's worked in Nigeria, uh, walls of corridor here and there. He has advised president. 
percent you know we want to see if this guy is really going to you know him and Buhari are going to work well together if it's really going to affect nigeria politics as we can see anyway my people now the news be this so the breaking news of the hour not forget to thumbs up for us like and share subscribe if you never subscribe oh, because we keep you up to date with all that is going on in nigeria and around the world you have a voice please use it don't allow anyone to intimidate you because you are the voice and the future of nigeria your voice will steer the country in the right direction don't forget to leave us a note uh, and stay safe god bless you bye for now